Good day guys, welcome where maths is made easy with teacher Satya Yar. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys on how to find a principal when we know the simple interest, rate and time. Make sure you watch the entire video to our better understanding of this topic. Now let's get to it guys. So step number one again guys what we will be doing is we will be using the simple interest formula and we will write a formula where we solve for the principal or the p so step one let's start off by writing the simple interest formula the simple interest formula is p r t over 100 right guys now step one what i'm going to do is i'm going to transpose the 100 to the other side by multiplying so si multiplied by 100 is equal to prt all right guys now since i'll be solving for the principal or the p i will be transposing r and t to the other side and when i transpose both of the, them to the other side i will be changing it to divide so si multiplied by 100 divided by r times t is going to give us p now this is the formula to find principal and we will be using this formula to solve few questions all right guys so here we go so in these questions we are given the rate per annum the simple interest and the time all right guys and we have to find the principal so step one right off the bat let us start off by writing the principal formula so p is si multiplied by 100 over r times t all right guys and we will be using this formula to solve all of the three questions now in question number one our si is 400 multiplied by 100 divided by the rate is 10 percent multiplied by the time which is five years all right guys now let's go ahead and simplify some zeros these two zeros can cut straight away and we see that 10 and 5 can simplify each other right guys so 5 will change to 1 and 10 will change to 2 so what we have now is 400 multiplied by 2 over 1 times 1 which is equal to 800 over 1 which is of course equal to 800 dollars so the principal in question number one is equal to 800 dollars all right guys now let's solve one more question again we are going to start by writing the formula down p is si times 100 over r times t right guys now the simple interest in this question is 1000 multiplied by 100 over the rate is 5% multiplied by the time which is 3 years now let's see what we can simplify here so 5 will change to 1 right and 100 will change to 20 so what we have now is 1000 multiplied by 20 divided by 1 times 3 right guys now 1000 multiplied by 20 is going to give us 20,000 over 3 which is equal to let's use the help of a calculator 20,000 divided by 3 will give us 6666.66 so approximately 6666.70 dollars all right guys now let's use the same formula to solve one more question again we'll be starting by writing the formula down p is si times 100 over r times t right guys so what we have here is simple interest is 1200 multiplied by 100 over over our rate is six percent per annum times and look here guys the time is eight months but the rate is six percent per annum per annum means per year therefore we will be writing the uh, time as over 12 right so eight months is eight over 12 all right guys now let's see what we can simplify here eight over 12 this will change to two and 3 right guys and 3 will change to 1 and 6 will change to 2 
right, guys and the reason we wrote it as 8 over 12 because we should write it as a year as the rate is given per year all right guys now what we have is 1200 times 100 over 2 times 2 would give us the principal right guys now let's go ahead and see what we can solve 2 and 100 can simplify which will give us to 1 and 50 this 2 will change to 1 and this 1200 will change to 600 so what we have now is 600 times 50 which is equal to which is equal to 30000 dollars right guys so the principal in this question would be $30,000 and that is how we would find the principal when we know the simple interest rate and its time. Now if you did enjoy this video don't forget to hit on that like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future maths videos. Until next time guys have a nice day.